Welcome to the project demonstration of Women's Safety Wearable Device. So in this project, uh, we are demonstrating the concept to for the Women's Safety purpose. Like whenever she is in uh, an emergency, then when she press this switch, so the system initially will send the message alert with the help of this GSM modem. And that SMS consists of the location values that will be uh, received from this GPS, Global Position System, in terms of latitude, longitude values. And the message consists of the message, uh, like directly Google Maps link. When we click on that, it will directly given to the Google Maps and will show the live location. And that uh, task is continuously sent for every 15 seconds of duration. So for every 15 seconds, the system keep on sending the message alerts along with the Google map location and buzzer alerts and voice alerts through this API 333 module and also that uh, in the duration of 15 seconds the Raspberry Pi 02W will record the video from this Pi camera and that recorded video will be sent to the register email ID by using Wi-Fi which is inbuilt in this uh, Raspberry Pi 02W. So for that purpose we need to enable the Wi-Fi hotspot as well as the data. So coming to the connections, so GPS interface through this USB to TTL converter. So why because we have we need to interface the two UART communication modules. One is a GSM which is a UART communication module and a GPS. So though Raspberry Pi 0 to W or Raspberry Pi any module which is has the only one hardware UART so which is at 14 and 15th pins so that was connected to our GSM module then we need to connect another UART communication module which is a GPS so for that purpose we are making use of USB to TTL TTL to USB converter so TTL is the input USB output and that was connected to the OTG cable at this USB slot of our Pi 0 to W so from here we are going to read the data as we have converted the TTL to USB. So same we will get the location values. So this is a connection for the GPS and a GSM directly 14, 15 pin and buzzer was interfaced at the so right so we have interfaced the buzzer at the uh, second pin. So coming to this buzzer board there we can see one transistor. So the transistor purpose is uh, which will act as a switch here. So Raspberry Pi can't drive the maximum current to drive this buzzer board that's why we are going to use a transistor means the raspberry pi whenever you want to on the buzzer it will trigger the transistor with the help of the one kilo ohm resistor which is connected at base of this bc547 transistor so raspberry pi on the transistor and uh, transistor will on the buzzer and this is the breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout this inputs and outputs module along with switch this is the emergency tactical switch so when she or he pre or she presses the switch and hold it for one second then the system will enter into the loop the loop consists of send the sms record the video mail that video and announce the voice again send the sms record the video and voice announcement this is keep on going till you switch off this board and we have interfaced this uh, apr double three three voice module which is consists uh, already come with the uh, uh, predefinedly recorded voices so APR nothing but audio playback recorder so these are there we record the two voices one is a welcome message another is alert message so these two pins are interfaced at the 23 24 pins and LCD which will show the status of latitude language values and alert messages directly interfaced at pin number 9 10 11 17 27 and 22 pins so the tactical switch interface at the 19th pin of our i 0 to w so these are the interfacing connections for the inputs and output models directly so let us see demonstration before switch on the kit the first thing is we need to enable the hotspot in your phone for the purpose hello no so go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot name to project 5077 and set up the password as 123456789 so these two are the very important check the twice so without any capital letters without any space and set the ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz on that and uh, set the hotspot and data and then log into our gmail which we have registered in that so these are the things we are going to make previously we got the mails so now you can switch on the kit so 
the system will take maximum 15 to 20 seconds of duration for booting purpose on successful booting then you will get the buzzer alerts so buzzer will be on and off two times and we can see one device will be connected into your hotspot so the one device was connected over here and now stay on the gmail screen so welcome message displayed buzzer on and off two times so right so after that you can just press the switch so one second hold the press the switch and then so keep on announcing the voice and continuously buzzer on and the system will record the video from this spy camera and uh, right we got the message alert so while we demonstrating this project under the roof that's why we are getting zero zero here so if we demonstrate that under the sky view then the gps will provide us the exact live location values so sending mail once the mail got sent so based on the network speed the time will take to receive the mail in your gmail inbox so once it shows the sent mail sent mail sent so keep on refresh the Right, we got the mail and download this. After downloading, first see the video. We are uh, sending the video in a compressed file of dot h264 format. Download successful and now so they get the new video we got. So the system keep on sending mails until you switch off this device.